Yo, what up guys, Nike Hype Remarks here. So, um, I'm doing another video. This is how to do the Monte Ellis layup. But before I do that, this is, um... You shut the fuck up, please? <laughs> okay, but I want to give a shout out to 8 Track Gaming. Um, he did make me a channel art and he made also Gears of UFC, aka Expert Baller. He made him a channel art as well. Um, he's, re he's really good at making those, so go ahead and check out those... So go ahead and check out his channel. I'll put him in the description below. But anyways, we'll go back to the video. And thanks for watching. Yo, what is up guys? Nike Hypermarks here and I'm back with my first gameplay video. Not really my first gameplay. It's actually my first tutorial video. That's what I meant to say. Um, so this is how to do the Monte Ellis layup, which can be done with any player that has the Monte Ellis signature layup uh, on their uh, signature attributes you see here look at that layup really really effective so how you do this is a reverse layup it simply is a reverse layup that happens in situational times so there has to be a defender as you can see here Sergi Baga is about to block my shot um, make sure that your defender is placed right there or he's trying to block your shot and that's when it will trigger it and if you guys don't know what to do a reverse layup it's basically you move the right stick towards the baseline so you can see here Serge Ibaka is about to block my shot so right stick to the right bang and he will trigger that cool animation and a very sick layup will be made sports center top 10 like you can do this all day it's really sick I mean you can try it with your my player put that on him and give it some practice as um, the only way this is ha this is going to work is that if there is a defender trying to block your shot, for example, Serge Ibaka, and you have to push the right stick towards the right or towards the left too. You can do that in both sides, and I will show you how to do it on the left side later. But right here, this is just a tutorial. You have to pretend that you are actually are your my player, and um. So you can see here in your my player's point of view, the baseline is on the right. So when you do trigger the move, you're going to have to push the right stick towards the right. And that is how it's going to trigger the layup. All right, guys. So you can see here, this is Monte Ellis now. This is another example on how to do the layup. You can see here, I am in the right side again. So I'm driving towards the right. I got Monte Ellis. And you see the baseline is on the right. Tab the right stick towards the right and look at him. Pull that move. It's so effective. It's so simple, guys. If you don't know how to do a reverse layup, you can always check it. It's in the advanced controls if you go on the pause menu. But it's really simple. You just have to make sure that you do have the Montel signature layup equipped in your signatures. And make sure when you're driving towards the basket, there is a defender trying to block your shot. And you can see here, Monte Ellis can do it right here as Markeith Morris is trying to block his shot. Um, you could do it with anybody as long as they have the Monte Ellis signature. You, you can do it everywhere. Blacktop, um, practice mode, you know, well not practice mode, but you have to make sure that um, there's a defender there. It only works when there's a defender trying to block your shot in the paint. All right, and it only works on the baseline. So make sure you're driving baseline now. Again, I'm going to repeat this. If you're driving in the right side of the baseline, you press the right stick towards the right. If you're on the left side, you press the right stick towards the left. It's pretty simple. It's really easy to, to do. Again, right here, you can see you're controlling your player, basically. You're playing as your, uh, as your dude's uh, point of view. And on your point of view, or his point of view, the baseline is on the right. So you... Press the right stick towards the right, and bam. But you have to trigger this right when there's a defender there. So that's all, guys. If you have any questions, just comment below, and I'll try to help you. But um, that is pretty much it, guys. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my friend, Atrack Gaming, who did make me that banner. And uh, peace out, guys.